Now and then you see in the street people with placards in their hands and they have a message and quite often it's a biblical message, either a quotation from the Bible or something inspired by the Bible. And one of the most famous messages that's carried around is the end is nigh. And it's famous and it even appears in cartoons and so on. The end is nigh. Now supposing we saw that in the street, well, we might smile and think in a patronizing kind of way, how naive, how simple-minded. Well, in the light of today's gospel, let's see how it might help us to think that the end is nigh. Today's gospel tells us that we must be watchful because the master, and the word is Lord, which is just sung in Lord have mercy, because the Lord, the master, is coming back from the wedding feast and we are to be ready. So the end is nigh. The end, we might think, is what comes at the end. You read a book and on the last page it says, the end. You watch a film and as it unfolds, up comes the words, the end. Or you're watching a game of some sort and when the time is up, it's the end. That might seem obvious and be the only meaning of end, what comes last. Now, today's gospel tells us that the world will end and that Christ will come again, this time in glory. First, our human reason could not tell us that. Only God could tell us that. It's revealed. Human reason once again reaches its limits. We can envisage the world ending in the sense of nuclear exchange, natural catastrophe, the sun moving just a few inches and overheating the world. But that's as far as reason can take us. Reason cannot tell us that it will end and the Son of Man will come. Only our faith tells us that. Now, logically, the end in that sense is nearer to us than has been to any other human being ever in the history of the world. Logically, we here this morning are nearer to the coming of a Son of Man because of chronology, time in history. No one has been nearer to us to the end than we are. So the little placard doesn't start to look so naive or simple. But the end has another meaning. It's not what comes at the end, like a book or a film or a football match, but the end is why we do anything. So we say, to what end did she do that? What end has he in mind? Now, we don't mean what comes last. We, in fact, mean what comes first. That's our end. Whatever your end in life is, all your decisions, your plans, your hopes, are directed towards that from the beginning, because that's your end. So to say that the end is nigh has two meanings. One is that the end is nearer to us than to anybody else has ever been, and it is. The other is that Christ is near us 
every moment of our life, now, from the beginning, because it's to that end that we live. That's our purpose, to dwell as friends with God and with each other. And that comes first, you notice. The end is what makes you act, what makes you choose, what makes you plan. What is your end? What's the purpose of your life? Far from being naive and simple, that little placard is immensely significant. The end is nigh. The Bible, today's gospel, has both senses. Those waiting for the Lord, the Master, don't know when he's coming in chronological time. And in case we've missed it, today's gospel said it twice. He might come of a second hour, midnight in our talk. He might come of a third hour, before dawn in our talk. So that's chronology, the end, and they were waiting because it hadn't come, just as we are. But the second meaning is, be constantly ready, because you don't know when Christ might break into your life in a very direct way. That at every point, our readiness is to want to meet him, to yearn for him, to yearn for the end, because it's not at all catastrophic. It's, in fact, a summing up of everything. Again, in a half-joking way, we say, oh, what's the point of it all? What's life, death, the meaning of the universe? Half-joking, but half-true. What is the point of it all? To what end are we here at all, alive? And the end is to be a, a banquet, a joy, a party, which comes when Christ enters our life, today, as well as at the end of time. <laughs>